My name is Lyle Troxel. I'm host of Geek Speak, a show running out of Santa Cruz about technology for the last 12 years. And my co-host here, Miles. Miles Elam, also from Geek Speak, doing this for about 10 years. We've uh, both uh, are front-end web developers, so we're here at JS Everywhere conference in San Jose. And luckily, we ran into Doris Chen. And Doris Chen, uh, PhD in computer engineering, I believe, mm -hmm. history of Java programming, and now works for Microsoft talking about the web. Um, exactly. And Microsoft, and of course, Microsoft 8, uh, Windows 8 showed up yesterday, and mm -hmm. it's all about the web. Exactly. So um, I'm a developer evangelist at a Microsoft. Um, my job is to try to help uh, developers, like you guys, everybody, to uh, develop uh, application. You know, my main focus here right now is using HTML5, JavaScript, CSS to develop apps on Windows 8 platform. And I just saw your, a little bit of your talk. I wasn't able to make all of it, but you, you basically showed making a web app, and then that wasn't a web app, it was a native app. And so you're extending, if you will, the JS, the JavaScript framework that we know and love in the browser and on the back end um, into calling native APIs right off the stack. I mean, So basically, the idea here is um, a lot of time when we talk about a um, native app, you probably think about it, you need to learn another set of language or platform. So with Windows 8, JavaScript, uh, HTML5 would be the first class citizen. So the demo I did in the talk is I actually have a, a, a fully compatible HTML5, uh, a, a fully compatible with a standard application uh, using, say, things like HTML5 video. And then it's a web application. It will run across all modern browsers. Mm -hmm. And then I actually create uh, just a Windows 8 template. And then I drag all the web content into this Windows 8 template and then um, it I could just run as a Windows uh, application. So it is a simple kind of demo. You know, obviously, this is just a proof of concept to show all the existing web content, including you could use jQuery. You could still call the backend web service the way you usually do for web application. You could actually transform uh, into Windows 8 without already rewriting everything else. When you said you dropped it into an existing frame, framework, so a web app that I might put up on Chrome that shows some video and reflection, I think it was what you were doing, um, you could drop that into, a, into an existing app in what? Like so, what were you using so as the final the, tool? The one I'm using is actually HTML5 video. Uh, so it's a, no, yeah, uh, I, I got the right. web app aspect so, of it. So basically, it I drop into, this is the Windows 8 uh, project template which is in Visual Studio 2012. Okay. So you basically could just develop your app based on this template, and then everything packaging running is actually done by the tool itself. Right, okay. Right. So what are we talking about in terms of calling a Windows-specific API? Are we talking about something that looks like a standard JavaScript object that you're just interacting with? Is it uh, some other type of uh, mechanism? Yes, so very good question. So the one I did a demo basically is just like a very basic uh, application prove the concept to let, let an application run. But in addition to that, uh, we will use what we call Windows 8 uh, 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 library for JavaScript, which is uh, uh, in JavaScript the syntax, but it's Windows 8 specific API, which will allow you to implement things like a touch, uh, things like uh, what we call Chamba to do the search, sharing the application, and a lot of other things like uh, solve the one of the issues like uh, namespace in JavaScript, or asynchronize uh, command communication, mm -hmm. use a promises pattern, and a lot of utilities and uh, what we call controls, which are a lot of nice Windows 8 widgets you could use. And, and you interact that with like a, a standard JavaScript library exactly. that happens to do non-standard no, things. It's basically, it's, it's just a JavaScript library uh -huh. you're using. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. And so when you, when you are testing and developing, what you did, of course, was you're developing like in a browser. You could have shown that in any modern browser. Exactly. Um, because you happen to be using only HTML5 type of tools, you were playing some video. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to grab the webcam or, or, or the camera, or excuse me, you're not even mm -hmm. on the web, in, you'd, be ha you'd have to be developing in Visual Studio so, to use that to, yes. to run So it. if I want to do something with a webcam or take a, some picture or video, there is for WinJS, there is some media capture API you would be able to use. So it's a still a JavaScript kind of support, so you could use that to implement your application. And are you extending some of those tool sets that you can use in Visual Studio to make an actual app? Are you extending that into Internet Explorer so that those tools are also available as a browser? So uh, two things. So once I use the template, Windows 8 template, 
this will be a native application, Windows right. 8 native application. But the code you, you use, say, for use HTML, all the regular uh, web kind of assets will still run in a, a regular browser, like in IE 10 or some other right, browsers. Right, right. But I mean, yeah. I'm saying that it, traditionally IE has done some things like uh, COM objects and, and allow you to extend the browser in that way. Are you taking this, this, this WinJS framework and taking some of those things and allowing it to be available like COM objects were um, way back in the day. So yes, WinJS, in addition to have all the nice support, it could also talk to the Windows Runtime API. Right. So it could talk to the, uh, underneath that. So, but basically, uh, it will providing you better API for you to easily develop your app to integrate with Windows 8 right. environment better. All That's right. the purpose of having that. So if you have something like Internet Explorer 9 and 10 have facilities to pin a website to your taskbar, or to, in the case of Windows 8, uh, not quite a taskbar, but just a, a region or a zone, right. I, might, I might say. Um, what will be the distinction then between what is a web app versus a native app, or is there no clear distinction for a user? Good question. So in, in terms of that, so with IE10, IE10 is only available on Windows 8. So there are two forms. One is you know, what you usually see in a, in a desktop. It's a desktop browser. The other, IE10, is running as a native application on Windows 8. So when you say you ping something, right, and you could actually you ping a site, say your favorite site, it could show up on the Windows 8 startup menu. Mm -hmm. So you could actually invoke as if it's a native application. So in terms of the code behind, where the code running is in a Windows 8 IE10 version versus a desktop browser version, there's no difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, so except for what what responsibilities it has to the OS, I mean, how what it can do. It's trust level. It's yeah. trust level, basically. Right. I'm so sure Windows 8, complex. obviously, you know, has leveraged a better security model, you know, the uh, much better uh, uh, the underlying, you know, I, I was curious. I'm curious mm -hmm. about, like, let's say, I, I've never done any Windows development, but let's say I want to do web, uh, Windows development. I want to take an app and, and create something mm -hmm. and, and compile it in right. Visual Studio. Right. At, at what level does it, has to, do it, does it have to get signed by Microsoft? What kind of relationship for that app to then be distributable and trusted by other people. Like, w how does that work? Right. So uh, basically, you just need your web skill set. You don't need to learn any uh, really big, like a sort of native level. Right, right. It. So you develop an app and then package it, and then there is an API for you to submit it to the Windows 8 App Store because the Windows 8 App Store are already open. So you could submit an app, and you go through a certification process, and once they uh, uh, basically approve your app, then your app is going to the store. So similar, so similar model to like what everybody's doing. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, any, any other questions? Uh, I'm, that's pretty much what I was looking for. That, that sounds like yeah. some... I want to ask you something uh, personally. Mm -hmm. For quite a while, you were working at Sun, you were evangelist in Java, mm -hmm. and you moved into the, to the Microsoft environment, and now you're doing JavaScript. Do you actually get to code? Do you actually spend time coding? Oh, yeah. This is a big thing. So as an evangelist, uh, basically, I would look at myself as a developer because it's basically we have to take the first so like a new API, new platform, to play with that, come out with a demo, and also come, come out with a nice tutorial. So people will be able to have an easy time to use a new technology, new API. Right. So this is always my job, regardless of where I am. So it, it, yeah, it's, it's actually, yeah, I do have a lot of time to do the coding, and uh, I actually look at uh, the way to make the other develop, developer's life a little easier, because I actually went through all the things, I know yeah, where the yeah. things to watch out. This is exactly the value of my job, yes. Great. Thank you so much, Doris, yeah, for joining thank us. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Yeah.